This is an August update on my 112 gallon average reef. Uh, it's been more than two months since I've shot a video on my reef tank. And this is actually the first time since I started making these monthly update videos that I missed any of them. I've just been too busy working on my fish room and I've got various clownfish laying eggs and other fish related projects, fishing quarantine and so forth that I haven't focused on the reef. Uh, overall, things are looking pretty good especially when you consider that for really the first time ever I stopped testing for a long long time and my calcium was in like the 200s which in turn made the alkalinity test at over 14 when it normally is around 7.7 .7. uh, I don't actually think the alkalinity doubled uh, this is a soft coral dominated tank but um, there are a few SPS that probably would have melted if the alkalinity did in fact double so and also the fact that there was still solution in the dosing bottle I think the low calcium just gave a false reading uh, now it's back in the 300s but alkalinity is still testing at like 12 uh, probably in another week or two it will level off and there really hasn't been too much loss uh, the one coral I did lose it's actually still just hanging on but it's not going to recover is this trachophilia uh, of all the corals to be affected, that's a little bit strange. But other than that, things are looking pretty good. Uh, I really don't work on this tank a lot anymore. I kind of thought it was just stagnating because it's so full and there's really nowhere for corals to grow. But uh, there were some parameter issues too, apparently. So uh, even if you do have a dosing pump, it's probably a good idea to keep testing. Now the only reason why this was such a big deal, well the main reason, is uh, normally in the summer I adjust my dosing schedule, which I guess I didn't do this year. Uh, that's because my windows are open for pretty much the whole summer. I don't have central AC, so the pH gets considerably higher in the summer than it does in the winter. Uh, thus, the elements are used much quicker. Still the tank is looking good, so Given that I caught this before of any serious loss, uh, everything should be okay. The main Ganiapora colony is looking massive as always. Uh, it's just a couple more months and it'll be 16 years since I got my naked clown. Uh, she's by far the oldest fish I have. Uh, the other coral that's suffered a lot is this Hollywood Stunner, but uh, this has fallen over many, many times, and it's constantly touched by this leather, so uh, it's not really a big deal. Uh, I mean, it looks kind of ugly now, but there's another piece there that will grow down, and i got tons of frags of it, so uh, it kind of is what it is for now. I did add this one Ghani here. Uh, I did expect this to be more of a Glitter Ghani. It wasn't really Glitter Ghani price, uh, but it's obviously not glittering but it still looks fine here so it is what it is I did lose my yellow scopus tang which was kind of unfortunate he was probably my favorite fish and it is possible the yellow tang was harassing him or it's also possible he was just old uh, Given that he was a wild caught fish that never really grew much in the four or five years I had him, uh, I don't really know what happened to him. Uh, I can say the tank is fairly certain to be disease free. Uh, none of the other fish got sick. Uh, all the fish have gone through quarantine and most of the corals got at least some sort of soft quarantine. So I think it was just his time either due to harassment or because he was old. One thing I'm really going to have to keep an eye on, which I'll probably fix this week, is my rainbow chalice is dangerously close to encrusting on the glass. And while I do tend to let things grow out of control, that's one coral that I'm not going to let happen to. Uh, I'll either put another tile underneath or cut the end off here which just happens to have the most rainbow parts, so it would be quite a desirable frag.
Otherwise, things are looking pretty good. Um, I don't really know what else I can do with this tank. I do need to get some more fish, and I do have one in quarantine that will go into this tank. And with the naked clown turning 16 soon, I think I will give her a boyfriend. A long, long time ago, I did have a pair, and they actually spawned one time and one time only, maybe in 2008, 2009. Uh, I actually used to think that ORA somehow sterilized the designer clownfish uh, back then. You know, these were pretty exotic and there were nowhere near the variety of designer clownfish that there are today. I'm certainly still enjoying the tank. It's just, other than cleaning the glass and I guess testing the water, there's really not too much else to do with this tank. Uh, I am open to constructive criticism. I know there's a few rough looking corals in here, but overall I think the tank still looks pretty good. But if you have any suggestions, I do welcome them. Thanks for watching, and happy reefing.